Full time here at the UCD Bowl and Derry City get what they came to the capital for. All three points against a very dejected, very poor UCD side. And there you go, just four points behind Rovers at the top of the table. Didn't take them long to open the scoring either. Just after the first two minutes, they opened the scoring. Uh, Samadu Diallo, after coming back from suspension, um, sprayed the ball out to Paul McMullen, who was excellent throughout the game. He got at Evan Osan, the UCD left back, and crossed the ball in, which found uh, Paul Mullen just in, for a header into the box. Beat Jackini, the UCD captain, to the ball to open the scoring. As the, fir as the first half progressed, the game was, was quite flat. The early goal kind of killed UCD off a lot. Derry just probing a lot. Um, UCD probably had the best chances of the first half then. Uh, Danny Naris gave an early warning after the, the, the opener for Derry. He shot from distance after picking up the ball from a long ball forward from Giacchini. And then a very good chance for Danny Kinsella Bishop after 15 minutes. Cameron McJanet slipped on the ball. And Danny Kinsella Bishop turned himself through on goal. But Brian Maher was excellent in the Derry net. Then, just as, the half as we were approaching halftime, Derry once again up the tempo and they got two goals in the space of just about five minutes just before halftime. Um, first was Will Patching. It was very similar to the first goal. Paul McMullen on the wing. This time he kind of gave a shorter cross out to Will Patching on the edge of the box. He still had a lot to do, Patching, but a beautiful finish. Looped finish into the, into the bottom net, corner of the net, giving Lorcan Healy no chance. Then, just on the stroke of halftime, Brandon Kavanagh made a 3 0 after um, the full back for Derry City came up, um, crossed the ball in, sore cross, Brandon Kavanagh, again, simple finish, 3 0 at the break. Very difficult for UCD to, come anything, to get anything then into the second half. Derry City started the second half as they finished the first with two goals in the space of five minutes. First was Will Patching. Um, Paul McCullum found Brandon Kavanagh, didn't take a great touch. Will Patching was there on hand to save the ball. And a beautiful, beautiful finish just inside the box into the top corner, giving Lorcan Healy no chance. Then, after the ball was rocked from Brandon Kavanagh for that goal, he made up for it just, to, just five minutes later with an excellent left footed curl effort himself just inside the box. Then, after the fifth goal, then both managers started to ring in the changes that really killed the momentum of the game. Uh, UCD looked very dejected and offered very little, especially in the second half. Derry were comfortable with their three points and five goals. They catch up to Rovers points-wise and goal difference-wise. Um, and they face Rovers just after the international break. So that should be very interesting in less than two weeks' time. Job done here for Derry City at the UCD Bowl. It's UCD AFC nil, Derry City 5.